Okay, hello Taurus. So we're gonna get right into this reading. Um, this message is for the sign of Taurus. And Taurus is an earth sign. Um, but I like to get right into the messages. Um, I was drawn to doing a love reading for the sign of Taurus. Okay. And remember that um, the cards are fluid. So this could be the total opposite um, of the partner. Um, this could apply to them. It could be flipped, vice versa. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, this is a timeless love reading. So whenever you watch it is when it was meant for you to see Taurus. Okay, so first of all here, we have um, perfect counterparts here. We have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the King of Pentacles, okay? Notice Two of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so this is telling me, guys, that this may be a soulmate connection, but someone is not ready yet, okay? You meet soulmates sometimes and that person is not ready to connect to this soulmate energy. They may not be... Um, ready okay but it signifies you have met a soulmate here okay or um yeah exactly they're just not ready this person is um not um try to explain it to you taurus So it's the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? And this person is a little petty, kind of like a little stingy. They're a little irresponsible. Somebody in this relationship kind of lacks common sense. They lack motivation and the goal here is money for them. If these two put their heads together, they could be a great money team. They are pentacles, okay? They're earth energy, so they're grounded. This king here is very grounded. He's very ready for this relationship. Now, remember, there's no um, gender in tarot. So this could be male or female, the king, and the queen could be the male or female. So somebody is not ready in this relationship. Somebody has like a gold digger mentality. Um, they kind of, they just lack motivation. So they're not ready for this connection here. Um as you can see with that two of cups in the reverse. This signifies a relationship here. And card 36 here signifies fantasies and daydreaming, vacations and things like that, okay? But you wonder why you still feel at home with this person, Taurus. And it's because there is a soulmate energy here, okay? I feel it, Taurus. The spirits are telling me that you have a soulmate around you but they're just not ready um here's the um card 28 and this is expectation so one is wanting something from the other one they're sitting back waiting for something male or female the person is waiting for the other partner to team up as you're supposed to okay but I can tell you what's blocking this energy and keeping the connection from coming full force. Here you have the Queen of Wands, okay? And to me, there's somebody else. There's a third party between one or the other, okay? Somebody has somebody on the side. Um, they may not be sexual with that person or anything like that, but there's definitely a presence here that's interfering in this connection. Okay, and they seem to be waiting on this person to step up a little bit and maybe make more money or something like that. This person may be um, what they want. This person is actually who they want, but it's something with finances that's holding them back from this person. If this person stepped up a little bit, this is the person of their choice. Okay. So that's what's drying out this connection here, but it is a soulmate connection. 
um, they haven't acknowledged it yet. One party hasn't acknowledged that you've actually met your soulmate. And when we talk about soulmates, your soulmate is your other half in another life. Okay, and let's just think like this. Usually with twins, one twin is a little bit different from the other twin. One may be more goal-oriented oriented, and the other twin may not be. Okay, so this is your other half. This is the part, this is the way you wouldn't be. So you're going to look at this person as your opposite. Okay, but they are your connection. They are your other half. Okay. So here we have the attraction card. So there is an attraction here. Um, but somebody is not making the effort in this relationship. But it is saying something here very different. And this is why I feel like there's two scenarios here. There's a third party lingering. Okay, because it says very soon a reconciliation. So I'm thinking that either the soulmate connection here, th there's a tear in here and they may reconcile or they may reconcile with that third party person because I feel like this third party person is off to the side. Um, they're not really around, but they do contact this person ever so often. So they may have broken off something, but they may reconcile with this person. Um, as I said, it has a lot to do with finances here. They want this person to step their game up with finances. But Taurus, this is your reading. And as I said, you know, this could be totally reversed, but this is what spirit told me to tell you. This is the message from the universe for love for you. This is what I feel and this is what I see. Um, it may not apply to every Taurus out here. But even if you're not getting along with your counterpartner or your part, your person, this may be the reason why. But it is a soulmate connection here. Somebody just needs to step their game up. I would like to thank you for watching, Taurus. That's all I have for you today. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel so the channel may grow. Um, I'll leave some info down below. I haven't started doing um, personal readings or anything like that yet. I have done a lot of personal readings, but I haven't started from this channel doing personal readings yet. Um, it will come soon, but the channel needs to grow. I will give you um, where you can um, give donations to help the channel start growing. Um, I'll leave that information down below. But I would like to thank you so much for watching, Taurus, and I hope this me message resonated with some of you out here. Um, remember, again, to like and subscribe. Thank you so much, Taurus. Farewell.